This is Joaquina Sitka. Tonight is my last night in Hawaii. And, um, I'm feeling a deep feeling of peace and gratitude for being here. I've been on the Big Island for a little over two months now, and I'm really sad to leave Hawaii. I'm very in love with this place, and um, being here has really transformed me and really helped me come into clarity and has helped me by transforming um, a lot of my priorities. And right now my priority is um, Are, are about uh, access to nature and access to gardens with fresh raw kale and access to bodies of water and a grounded sustainable income stream and eating healthy food and being surrounded by loving beautiful people and having a good community around me and um, having lots of quiet time to focus on creative um, projects. Interestingly enough, tonight we had a very interesting encounter at our house. On my final night here, a centipede appeared. It was a very large centipede with probably, I don't know, 40 or 50 legs. And it, it was enormous. And centipedes are quite dangerous and apparently insanely painful if you receive a bite or a uh, sting from them. Um, we heard numerous accounts this evening about different people and their, their thoughts and perspectives on centipedes and apparently it's like getting a gunshot. It's quite painful apparently, so. We were all terrified, <laughs> collectively. There was probably about seven of us participating in the centipede endeavor. And um, it was really interesting because it really brought the house members together. And it was quite an interesting uh, adventure drama that sort of congealed everybody in this unified experience. Um, and after a while, we did actually catch the centipede and contained it and in a, put it in a closed container with a lid on. And, um, and then we walked outside and we chose to release it on a piece of land that where there are no houses. We wanted to be respectful of our neighbors and um, be psychically and energetically mindful of our of our neighbors and um, and thus we release the centipede in um, on a piece of land where there's no house and a whole bunch of flowers and we're trying to be as like, benign and and conscientious as possible and um, and as we um, as we walked out um, the stars were fully lit up, the sky was clear, it was absolutely luminous and gorgeous, and the Koki frogs were out, and it really felt like it brought all of us together, it really created a unified state for all of us, and we walked out together and we prayed together over the centipede, and we talked about our fears and what it meant to each of us, and I smudged and prayed with with a smudge stick, and um, and um, smudged the centipede, and smudged each other, and and then I sang a song. I sang a centipede medicine song, and uh, the centipede was then released into the land. And then we walked back and I sang 
under the stars and it was just really peaceful and beautiful and really unique and interesting way to end my first two months in uh, Hawaii. happy about this time being here and I'm really looking forward to seeing where this whole time frame leads me to and what happens over the next year, six months as my own personal evolution evolves. And I feel that this time in Hawaii will be have will have been instrumental in my in my course of action from here on out. And so I'm very grateful to Mama Pele and to all the spirits of the Aina and the land. And, um, and I'm grateful for the magical scented medicine tonight. <laughs> 